welcome today we will see another part of the representation of control components that is problems on electric elements in the last lecture we have seen basic mechanical elements such as helical spring viscous damper torsional spring and damper then we have seen basic electrical elements that is resistor capacitor and inductor then we have seen series electric circuit and parallel electric circuit now today again i will revise that series electric circuit and parallel electric circuit because we have to use that concepts of series electric circuit and parallel electric circuit while solving the problems therefore series electric circuits now consider again two inductors l1 l2 two resistors r1 r2 and two capacitors c1 c2 are connected in series and the total voltage drop across these six elements is equal to e i is the current flowing through the circuit or through these elements therefore the total voltage drop e is the sum of the voltage drops across each element and the same current i flows through each element the equation for the summation of the voltage drops is e is equal to el1 plus el2 plus er1 plus er2 plus ec1 plus ec2 therefore in the last lecture we have studied er is equal to ri el is equal to ldi and ec is equal to 1 upon cd into i therefore we will substitute that value in this equation therefore e is equal to now since two inductors are there l1 l2 we are knowing voltage drop across inductor el is equal to ldi but two inductors are there therefore we will write e is equal to l1 into d into i plus l2 into d into i plus similarly two resistors are there R1 R2, therefore plus R1 I plus R2 I. Similarly, two capacitors are there C1 C2, therefore plus 1 upon C1 D into I plus 1 upon C2 D into I. Now taking current I common from this equation, we are getting E is equal to L1 D plus L2 D plus R1 plus R2 plus 1 upon C1 D. Plus one upon C two D into I. Therefore, we can represent this equation in the form that is the equation relating the voltage E and current I for any electric circuit can be expressed in the form E is equal to Z I. Therefore, comparing this equation with the previous equation, we are getting. therefore z is known as impedance for the circuit e is the voltage drop across the circuit and i is the total current flowing through the circuit therefore comparing this equation that is e is equal to z i and the previous equation we are getting the impedance z is z is equal to l1 d plus l2 d plus r1 Plus R two plus one upon C one D plus one upon C two D. Therefore, from this impedance equation, what we are getting? 
change these elements that is L1, L2, R1, R2, C1, C2 are in series, are in series. Therefore, total impedance Z is equal to sum of the individual impedances of each element. Therefore, same thing it is written here. For elements in series, the total impedance is the sum of the individual impedances of each element. Therefore, the block diagram representation is shown in figure of the equation E is equal to Zi, which can be read as E into 1 upon Z is equal to I. Therefore, this is nothing but series elements. You have to remember this to obtain impedance, total impedance or equivalent impedance of series element, we have to add the impedances of individual elements. Then we are getting final impedance, Z is equal to. This we have to use while solving the example. Now, parallel electric circuits. See that this is the parallel electric circuit. Two inductors are there, L1, L2. Two resistors are there, R1, R2. And two capacitors are there, C1, C2, which are connected in parallel. Now, E is the voltage drop that will remain same across each element because these elements are connected in parallel. But current I is divided into these elements. Therefore, therefore, you can say that same thing whatever I have told it is written here. The distinguishing features of a parallel arrangement are that the voltage drop E across each element is the same and that the total current I flowing into the system is the sum of the individual currents flowing through each element. Thus, I is equal to E upon L1D plus E upon L2D plus E upon R1 plus E upon R2 plus E upon 1 divided by C1D plus E upon 1 divided by C2D. Therefore, you can write down this equation in terms of E is equal to. Therefore, E is equal to 1 divided by 1 upon L1D plus 1 upon L2D plus 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus C1D plus C2D into I is equal to ZI. Therefore, Z that is total impedance for parallel circuit. Now we are studying parallel circuit. Therefore, total impedance Z for the parallel circuit is always remember is 1 divided by 1 upon L1D plus 1 upon L2D plus 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus C1D plus C2D. This is the impedance, total impedance for the given circuit. Therefore, from this equation, what you can say? Total impedance for the parallel circuit Z is always equal to 1 divided by sum of the reciprocal of the impedances of each element. Therefore, same thing I have written here. For elements in parallel, the total impedance is equal to 1 divided by the sum of the reciprocal of impedance of each element. The block diagram representation is shown in figure. Therefore, E is equal to Zi, which, is, which can be written from, which can be, means how to read this block diagram E into 1 upon Z is equal to I. Now, based upon these two rules, that is series rule and parallel rule, we will solve the problems. Now, example 1, for the circuit shown in figure, determine the equation relating the output voltage E2 to the input voltage 
E1. Therefore, this is the circuit diagram. E1 is the input voltage. E2 is the output voltage. Now, you are seeing that three elements are there. Capacitance C1 and resistance R1 is in parallel. And this is in series with resistance R2. And current I is flowing through the circuit. Therefore, we will determine the solution. Now, first step. We will go step by step. Now, from the diagram, we are observing that R1 and C1, that is resistance R1 and capacitance C1 are in parallel. Therefore, their impedance Z1 is. Now, when elements are in parallel, what we are writing? Their impedance is equal to 1 divided by reciprocal of impedances of each element. Therefore, Z1 is equal to 1 divided by 1 upon R1 plus 1 divided by 1 upon C1D because impedance of capacitor is 1 upon CD. Therefore, reciprocal of 1 upon CD is 1 upon 1 upon C1D. Therefore, now by simplification, Z1 is equal to 1 divided by 1 upon R1 plus C1D. Therefore, next by simplification, Z1 is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus R1 C1D divided by R1. Therefore, Z1 is equal to R1 divided by 1 plus R1 C1D. Therefore, this is the impedance of these two elements that is C1 and R1. Now, Again, this circuit diagram is there. Now, impedance Z2 is equal to R2 because impedance of Z2, Z2 is nothing but impedance of R2. Therefore, Z2 is equal to R2. Now, therefore, total impedance Z is equal to Z1 plus Z2. Therefore, Z is equal to substituting the value of Z1 and Z2 in this equation. Z is equal to R1 divided by 1 plus R1 C1D plus R2. Therefore, by simplification, we are getting Z is equal to R1 plus R2 into bracket 1 plus R1 C1D divided by 1 plus R1 C1D. Therefore, the voltage E1 is given by E1 is equal to Zi. Therefore, substituting the value of Z in this equation, we are getting E1 is equal to R1 plus R2 into bracket 1 plus R1 C1D divided by 1 plus R1 C1D into I, equation 1. Similarly, the output voltage E2 is given by E2 is equal to Z2I. Therefore, substituting value of Z2, E2 is equal to R2I. This is the equation 2. Now, dividing equation 1 by 2, we are getting the relation between E1 and E2. Therefore, dividing equation 1 by equation 2, we are getting the equation E1 upon E2 is equal to R1 plus R2 into bracket 1 plus R1 C1D divided by R2 into bracket 1 plus R1 C1D. Now, this is the end of the example. Now we will see second example. Example second. Now this is the circuit diagram they have provided. Now E1 is the input voltage. E0 is the output voltage. Now R1 C1. R1 C1 are the two elements in series and R2, C2 are also two elements in series and all these four elements are in series. That is R1, C1, R2, C2 are all in series and I is the current flowing through the circuit. Therefore, we will determine its solution. Solution. Therefore, we will write since R1 and C1 are in series, therefore, 
their impedance z1 is given by z1 is equal to r1 plus 1 upon c1d similarly r2 and c2 are also in series therefore their impedance z2 is given by z2 is equal to r2 plus 1 upon c2d therefore total impedance z is z is equal to z1 plus z2 therefore substituting the values of z1 and z2 we will get z is equal to r1 plus 1 upon c1d plus r2 plus 1 upon c2d therefore rearranging the term z is equal to r1 plus r2 plus 1 upon c1d plus 1 upon c2d therefore the voltage e1 is given by e1 is equal to zi therefore substituting the value of z we are getting e1 is equal to r1 plus r2 plus 1 upon c1d plus 1 upon c2d into i equation 1 similarly the voltage e0 is given by e0 is equal to z2i therefore substituting the value of z2 e0 is equal to r2 plus 1 upon c2d into i equation 2 therefore dividing equation 1 by 2 we are getting e1 upon e0 is equal to r1 plus r2 plus 1 upon c1d plus 1 upon c2d divided by r2 plus 1 upon c2d therefore by simplification we are getting you can do the simplification and you can find out final result now example 3 circuit diagram they have provided where e1 is the input voltage e2 is the output voltage l1 and r1 are in parallel similarly c1 and l2 are also in parallel and these two parallel elements that is l1 r1 and c1 l2 are in series therefore first of all we will find out impedance of l1 r1 that is z1 then we will find out impedance of c1 l2 that is z2 then this that z1 and z2 will be in series we will find out their equivalent impedance z and we will find out equation e1 is equal to zi and e2 is equal to z2i therefore first of all solution now l1 and r1 are in parallel this l1 inductor l1 and resistance r1 are in parallel therefore z1 is equal to their impedance z1 is given by now since they are in parallel if elements are in parallel how we are writing the impedance 1 divided by reciprocal reciprocal of impedance of each element that is addition of reciprocal of impedance of each element therefore z1 is equal to 1 divided by <coughs> 1 upon L1D plus 1 upon R1. Therefore, by simplification, Z1 is equal to 1 divided by R1 plus L1D divided by R1 L1D. Therefore, Z1 is equal to R1 L1D divided by R1 plus L1D. This is the value of Z1. Similarly, again, circuit diagram I have drawn here c1 and l2 are in parallel c1 and l2 are in parallel therefore their impedance z2 is given by now since elements are in parallel how we are writing impedance z2 is equal to 1 divided by 1 upon 1 divided by c1d plus 1 upon l2d therefore z2 is equal to 1 divided by c1d plus 1 upon l2d therefore by simplification z2 is equal to l2d divided by 1 plus c1d into l2d therefore now z1 and z2 are in series therefore total impedance z is z is equal to z1 plus z2 therefore z is equal to 
आर वन एल वन डी डिवाइडेड बाय आर वन प्लस एल वन डी प्लस एल टू डी डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस सी वन डी इंटू एल टू डी देर फॉर द होल टेज ई वन इज गिवन बाय ई वन इज इक्वल टू झेड आय देर फॉर सब्सटीट्यूटिंग दैल्यू ऑफ झेड वी आर गेटिंग द इक्वेशन ई वन इज इक्वल टू आर वन एल वन डी डिवाइडेड बाय आर वन एल आर वन प्लस एल वन डी प्लस एल टू डी डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस सी वन डी इंटू एल टू डी इंटू आय इक्वेशन वन सिमिलरली द वोल्टेज ई टू इज गिवन बाय ई टू इज इक्वल टू झेड टू आय देर फॉर ई टू इज इक्वल टू एल टू डी इंटू आय डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस सी वन डी इंटू एल टू डी इक्वेशन टू देर फॉर बाय डिवाइडिंग इक्वेशन वन एंड टू वील गेट द रिलेशन बिट्वीन ई वन एंड ई टू देर फॉर फ्रॉम वन एंड टू ई वन डिवाइडेड बाय ई टू इज इक्वल टू आर वन एल वन डी डिवाइडेड बाय आर वन प्लस एल वन डी प्लस एल टू डी डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस सी वन डी इंटू एल टू डी डिवाइडेड बाय एल टू डी डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस सी वन डी इंटू एल टू डी नाउ नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल दैट इज एग्जाम्पल नंबर फोर नाउ कंसिडर दिस सर्किट इन विच E1 is the input voltage, E2 is the output voltage. R2 and C2 are in parallel, and these two parallel elements are in series with inductor L1. Therefore, here again, Z1 is nothing but impedance of L1, and Z2 is nothing but total impedance of this parallel combination of R2 and C2. Therefore, we will solve the problem. Now solution. The impedance for L1 is given by Z1 is equal to L1 D. Now R2 and C2 are in parallel. Therefore, their impedance Z2 is Z2 is equal to one divided by one upon R2 plus one divided by one upon C2 D. Therefore, by simplification, Z2 is equal to one divided by one upon R2 plus C2D. Therefore, Z2 is equal to R2 divided by one plus R2 C2D. Therefore, total impedance Z is Z is equal to Z1 plus Z2. Therefore. Substituting the values of Z1 and Z2, therefore Z is equal to L1 D plus R2 divided by 1 plus R2 C2 D. Therefore Z is equal to by simplification Z is equal to L1 D into bracket 1 plus R2 C2 D plus R2 divided by 1 plus R2 C2 D. Therefore the voltage E1 is E1 by E1 is equal to Zi. Therefore, substituting the value, E1 is equal to L1 D into bracket 1 plus R2 C2 D plus R2 divided by 1 plus R2 C2 D into I. Equation one. The voltage E2 is given by E2 is equal to Z2 I. Therefore, substituting the value of Z2. E2 is equal to R2 into I divided by 1 plus R2 C2 D. Equation two. Now dividing equation one by two, we can obtain relation between E1 and E2. Therefore, same thing is here. From one and two, that is we have divided equation one by two. E1 is equal to L1 D into bracket 1 plus R2 C2 D plus R2. Divided by one plus R two C two D into E two divided by R two upon one plus R two C two D. Therefore, by simplification, we are getting that is this one plus R two C two D will get cancelled here, and we can obtain relation between E one and E two as follows: E one is equal to L one D into bracket one plus R two C two D plus R two divided by R two. Into E two. Therefore, this is the final equation between E one and E two. Thank you very much.
we'll stop here